Hello and welcome to this Search Virtual Desktop Tech Target video about monitoring Citrix virtual apps and desktop performance with ControlUp. In this video, I will give a quick overview of what you can do with the ControlUp Real Time Console. So, with ControlUp Real Time Console, you can do a few things. You can see real time data, performance data of your environment right from the hypervisor or a send desktop site or netscaler or even just from an agent but you can also perform actions on a session or on a vm and you can create triggers in this video i will show you how you can easily find which uh, use session or virtual machine has uh, performance degradation and how you can troubleshoot these issues in the blog attached to this video, you will find a link to an article that I wrote on how to set up this console in five minutes and start monitoring. So here to the right, you have your folder overview. And here you can see your hypervisors, your send desktop site, and your Netscalers and agents that are added. You can also create extra folders and put agents into folders. The hypervisors are a direct connection to the ASXE or send server layer or Hyper-V. If you double click on it, here it will show you the information about the hypervisor. So here you can see I got one session host, one VMware host running with 12 CPU cores, uh, 128 gigs of RAM and the IP address. And if I double click on this host, it will show me all the VMs that are running on the host. And I can immediately see stress level, which VMs are really busy at the moment. So here I see that one of my send desktops VDI servers with Windows 10 is pretty high in the stress level. I can also see that one of my file servers has uh, a lot of write IOPS at the moment to its virtual disk. So here I can in one glance see the stress level and what's causing the stress in one overview. And this goes really deep. So if I click here, you can see extra details. You can also easily with Control Up double click on a problem so if i double click here on the medium it will automatically take me to this host it will filter on this host and it says the stress level is medium so i can double click again on the host and i can see that there's a user signed in which causing critical stress level and has a bad user experience score so again, I can now double click. And here I can again filter on the stress level and see what's causing the most uh, performance degradation. And at the moment I can see that Firefox is creating some page faults at the moment. And if I look into RAM, I can also see that other Firefox processes are taking up a lot of memory so this user is probably doing something uh, demanding in firefox i can also see that the citrix graphic engine is running so he's probably watching a movie so how can we check this well what we can do with control up is create a screenshot of the vdi's session of course, you can do that with a user approval or notification, or you can enable that you don't want to notify the user. In a production environment, I would always say notify the user. But for now, I'm just gonna take a screenshot. So here I can see that the VDI is running a YouTube movie with 10 hours of a fireplace. Well, this is not really work relevant and it is causing a lot of stress. So a thing I could of course do is call up the user and ask him to please stop watching that video. 
Another thing that ControlF can do is just stop the process. So I can go in here and just say kill the process right now. So this will kill Firefox on the machine and will make the VDI performs better. To get here at the users, I did a lot of double clicks, but this of course can go a lot easier. What you can do is just go to the top folder, then press right mouse and select focus. Now it will focus on the complete environment. So if I click on hosts, I will see all the hosts in the environment, which is one. Computers, I will get all the VMs that are in the environment. At sessions, I will see all the sessions that are in the environment. And with processes, all the processes, accounts, all the accounts, applications, the applications, and net scalers, you can see the net scales in the environment. With net scalers, you can even monitor which sessions are coming through the net scaler. So here you can see that one HDX session is coming throughout the net scaler. So this means that one user is signing in from outside and you can see how much traffic that is generating. So again, if we go here to sessions, I can directly double click on a user sessions and see it in full detail. Control Up also has script actions, which allows you to run your own PowerShell scripts or even community scripts that they have provided on a user session or a VM. So for instance, I want to have a deep dive on the login sign-in process of a user. So I'm gonna go back to my top view. Now I'm gonna select sessions and I'm gonna select my session. And here I'm gonna do a script action for analyze my logon duration. So this is a PowerShell script, which is provided by Control Hub, but you can also add your own PowerShell scripts to do a more deep dive on the session. So right now it's analyzing the duration. And here I get a complete report of what happened during the boot up time of the session. So this was a really short demonstration of what Control Hub, the real-time console can do. There's also an inside console which shows historical data. So which allows you to see how your system is performing the last month or even uh, what was the performance yesterday. So this is really easy when troubleshooting user questions like, yeah, well, yesterday the, the performance was slow, but today it's all right, but can you look into it? Well, with the Insight Console, you can look into that. So that is great. For now, I want to wish you good luck when you are going through performance issues. And I'm sure that Control App will help you get to the root of those performance issues. Bye.